All right. So what's up, everyone? Today, you are listening to the number one real estate podcast in the world. Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't check the numbers on that. Just uh, trust me. And uh, yeah, it's called Over Ask, presented by The Broke Agent, hosted by myself, Matt Leonetti. And today we have a extremely special guest. You all probably know him. He needs no introduction, but I'm going to introduce him anyways, because I'm that kind of guy. Uh, real estate extraordinaire, star of Million Dollar Listing, New York, a best-selling author and founder of C- and CEO of Sirhant, Ryan Sirhant. How are you doing? It's Thanks me. so much. Thanks so much for being on, man. We really appreciate it. Thanks for forcing me to do this against my will. Yeah, no problem. Well, we just figured, you know what? It's the number one real estate podcast in the world. Um, yeah. And we think you're really going to blow up after this. Yeah, great. <laughs> um, um, uh, uh, this is going to be awesome. <laughs> I think so. We'll, we'll hope so. So I'm going to jump right into it. I know you're a busy guy. I'm a busy guy too. You know, I can't be, you know, I can't be just, you know, around here doing all this shit all day, but uh, be doing podcasts all day. No, exactly. So um, I'm just going to jump right into it here. You've made real estate cool. You've somehow managed to make real estate cool. Okay. okay. Did um, I? You, you did because you got a bunch of people who, you know, would have never joined a bunch of assholes like, you know, me and, and, and Eric from broke agent, unfortunately, but you got a lot of good people too. So, I mean, you're the reason why I got into real estate. You're the reason I, I'm sure you hear that a lot. Is it weird to hear that? Because I know when you got into real estate, you kind of just got into it to pay your rent and act. So is that weird to hear now that you've built this empire and you've inspired millions around the world? I don't know if I call it an empire. Not yet, anyway. I'll keep you posted. Um, (laughs) Yeah, I guess it's a little weird. I mean, it's listen, it's, it's awesome, right? It's cool. Like I... Um, I was doing an inter- interview yesterday um, for a big magazine and he asked me, he's like, so, so how much did you sell last month? And I told him, he's like, so, so why do you do the other stuff? Like, why, <laughs> why, why are you not like out to dinner? Or why are you with your wife? Why aren't you, you know, your co-stars, I think right now, one's on a beach, the rest are skiing. Why are you in the office in a suit and tie when everyone else is like, you know, crying about COVID and all this and all that. Why are you helping out real estate agents in Toronto and Michigan and the Philippines and Korea and South Africa? And I'm like, to be honest, um, I, I, cause I really like to, um, and I really, really like uh, showing people the possibilities that they can have without the absolute need for higher education. Like everyone has it within them, I think to be a successful real estate salesperson. And as long as there are homes and human beings are allowed to broker those deals for a percentage and you can live off of that, it's an amazing, amazing, amazing career. Um, Like anybody can come to any city, right? Especially in New York and get off a boat, not even know English, put themselves through the course, which is like 75 hours and advise people the same way I advise people. Right. Um, and so, uh, so yeah, listen, it's, it's awesome to hear you say that. Um, and the more real estate agents that are in the business because of me, like hopefully they're good ones and good people and nice and awesome. And we'll make this business more fun, dude. You have any idea how many assholes I deal with every day, like in the amount of like bullies I still deal with every day in this business. I'm like, I cannot wait for you fuckers to retire yeah. and just like get out of the way because there's a whole new crop of agents who just like are fucking awesome and love this business and are hungry for it and like want to do the right thing and be good by people because they're all coming for you <laughs> like yeah I'm, like so I, I like that you know I, I don't know I think it's uh we're, we're like participating in this cleansing of bad real estate agents and bringing in like the new age awesome agent who really gives a shit and is cool and wants to have fun and just help people buy and sell homes. Right. I totally get that. And like, I'm on a, you know, I don't sell uh, billions, but I deal with a bunch of fucking assholes too. And I've actually built, started to build a brand on calling out assholes on video and making these comedic skits and stuff. So it's cool to hear you say that it's, it's so, cause I had a question similar to that, which is really yeah. cool because yeah, you, you do all this stuff, you sell, billions you have your own brokerage now you write books and you're still relatable to the masses which i think is really impressive because 
I mean, like I said, you're doing a lot more than a lot of agents, but you're still somehow you're relating to them and they feel like they can reach out to you. And that's what makes you so successful in my mind, because you can have all, everything you have and write these books. But if you're a huge dickhead, no one's going to buy the book. You know what I mean? I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so how do you, st- how do you think you're relatable to the masses still, even though you've built such this, this huge brand? Dude, I, I, I really believe in the power of, of positive energy. Um, I believe in karma. Like, and I've seen it happen in real life. You know, what comes around goes around and I'm in this for the long game, right? No individual deal or individual relationship is more important to me than the future. Um, and I really work for the future all the time. And I, I made a promise to myself a long time ago where, you know, I, if I ever got to the place where I could help other people not have to deal with the shit I dealt with, um, then, then I'm going to do that. Uh, whether it's, you know, whether it's kind of body image issues or self-confidence issues or mentorship, you know, or lack thereof in the real estate business, the more people I can help, the better, man. Like, I think it's, uh, uh, and it can only help me. And listen, selfishly at the same time, you might one day have a guy who's like, I'm moving to New York and I want you to say, you got to talk to Sir Hant. I, I'm going to, I'm going to email him right now. He's the best. Go talk to him. And that's a deal. I otherwise well, I w- wouldn't have ever done. Right. Um, and the more people who can do that for me, the better. And the more people I can refer to, you know? Yeah. For sure. That's crazy. Yeah. If I ever have any, uh, they'll look good on me if I send them to, uh, you know, best-selling author, Ryan Serhant. That helps me too. So that's best-selling pretty good. Agent. Don't, don't connect them to an author. They'll be like, what? Yeah. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> best-selling agent and author and uh, of other things. Um, so I've done, I've done your courses. I've done, uh, I've read the book actually, you know, I'm prepared. I come prepared. I don't fuck around yeah. here. Um, read this book once I found out that uh, you were coming on. I read it again. I skimmed. I didn't read it again, but uh, I skimmed it. I appreciate you. Got my favorite uh, parts. And I will say, and I'm not, you know, I'm not one to bullshit and just tell you things you want to hear. It's not yep. that kind of guy. If I didn't like it, I wouldn't have fucking brought the book on, on here. So yep. I, w- I wouldn't have talked about it. It's really, really good. And the course is, is I've done so many bullshit courses and so many i've gone to conferences and i've paid yeah. way more than your course and got yeah. he's not he didn't ask me to say this before i'm just saying this um and your course is so valuable and what i always because i have a lot of people reach out and they say matt yeah. you took the course um what do you think yeah. yeah what do you think and i just say even if you don't if you're an idiot and don't actually implement anything from the course <laughs> you still get something from the course yeah. Okay. Like I, it just inspired me. That's what really kind of up me to, you know, really start creating video. Yeah. And it was just, you know, it, it just kind of opens your eyes. It opens you up to a new language, how you speak. Uh, it's interesting just to hear how you speak through the whole yeah. course yeah. Um, because you pick up on things and how you, you handle objections and stuff. So I just want to throw that, throw that in there a little, you can use, I mean, you can use any of this as a testimonial on big money energy, no problem. I won't charge you or anything like that. Okay. So I just want to throw that in there because. Um, yeah, listen, man, I, I, I appreciate it. And, um, you know, here's what I'll say. Like, I didn't have to make the course. Like, I, again, like I'm, and I think I'm pretty clear uh, in it too. Like I, I am not a coach, I'm not a guru. I have not retired from this business. You know, 90% of my day is selling and brokering real estate and building my real estate brokerage in New York City and going after buildings and pitches and you know running all over the place all day long. Um, but I, I got to the point where I was like, you know what? I, I think I know enough now where I can help people who don't know what I know and maybe what I know might help them sell more and build a better lifestyle and make more money and like get that car they always wanted and maybe get that two bedroom or upgrade their apartment or really or just figure out structure maybe there's people out there who are like I sell stuff but I I don't have structure to my day you know like all the things that no one ever talks about and I, I couldn't find a course like that and every course that's out there for real estate is like 
you know, it's a, it, they're super vanilla, they're super generic, they all say the same thing. And it's, they're just like purely for profit um, uh, because it's, it's the course's whole business, you know? And for me, it was just like, let me, let me give everybody what I wish I had 12 years ago when I first got into this business. If it helps people, great. If it doesn't help people, then it's going to help my agents when yeah. I start my own brokerage, which I eventually did. I'm going to make sure they all take it because I want them to know how to talk the way I talk. I want them to, like you said, how do you handle objections um, in the right way? How do you close in 2021? Um, right. right. You know, and let's update it. Let's build a community. So, you know, that's, um, that's why I did it. No, yeah, it really, it really, really does show. Cause yeah, there is a bunch of cookie cutter bullshit out there that, you know, just tells you to cold call and door knock, which yeah, you still have to do, but there's a whole other aspect to the business now. And it's, you know, obviously social media, which I mean, you're, uh, that's where I, you know, I get a lot of my inspiration from kind of your account, Gary V, stuff like that. Where do you get your social creative inspiration from? Like, who are you looking at? Are you looking at other people and, and, and getting inspiration from that? How are you coming up with all this stuff? Yeah. I mean, kind of, you know, I have a, I have a team, obviously. Yeah. Um, we have a large studios team. Um, who help and help come up with the ideas and things to shoot. And so I, I put a lot of the onus on them, but um, I don't know. We'll just, I, I, I like making stuff. Like I like making stuff up and coming up with stories, different things and funny photos and like social media. It's like, it's, it's pretty perfect for, for my brain. Um, Cause even when I was a little kid, like I liked telling stories and drawing photos and, you know, being creative. And that's why I like like the new development aspect of real estate, because I can, really work with a developer and pick finishes and figure out the floor plan. And then it's cool. Once it's built, you're like, damn, I can't believe they actually spent $300 million on what I told them to spend it on. That's yeah. crazy. Um, and it's part of the skyline and it's, you know, it's a, it's a pretty wild experience. Um, but I, yeah, I look to other people like, you know, I think, you know, to the Gary's, you know, the dough bricks, um, um, you know, I, I don't know if I look at other people's Instagrams and Facebooks and TikToks and reels and, you know, you, you kind of take the best and leave the rest, you know, and you're like, oh, yeah. shit, that's a cool idea. Maybe I could do that for a listing. I don't know. That could be crazy. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's just about having fun, you know, like so much, so much of this job can be so stressful. Um, and it's such a roller coaster all of the time. You have a good month and then you have six bad months. And you're like, why am I still doing this? Like the social promotion for us ends up being like, all right, that little bit every day where it's like, okay, how can we have a little fun today? Mm -hmm. like what else, what can we do that's a little bit different today? Um, and then before you know it, it's, it's part of your pitch, right? It's part of your sales pitch for, for, um, you know, for your, for your clients and for your sellers, you know, there's, right. there's, okay, well you have this platform that other people don't have. Right. Right. And yeah, that's totally kind of where I'm at too. I, and I etched that out from, from your course is kind of creating something that I actually wanted to do too. Like it's, something that's creative and I'm a creative person and you can kind of, you know, have fun with it. It doesn't always have to be so, so professional, whatever that is. So um, a lot of people, they, they ask me, I'm sure you get it a lot. They, they want to think outside the box. They want to be more creative, but they don't want to be seen as unprofessional. Yeah. So what would, what's your response to that? Um, listen, there's, it's a fine line, right? Um, but you, I want to make sure that you are like, so here's an example. Okay. So we have a, 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 a network uh, that we just started as part of the new brokerage called listed on YouTube, where we yeah. make individual shows for our agents. So I can try to give our agents a platform to get more listings, get more buyers, you know, and have some fun uh, in the same way that million dollar listing helped me 10 years ago. Um, and so uh, one of the shows is called borough brokers. Okay. Um, and it stars two of our agents, Brad and Brian, and they're, you know, they're very bro -y, um, and they have fun and they're crazy and funny and they fought me really hard. Uh, they wanted the title of the show to be Burrow Bros. Okay. Um, and it sounded good. Burrow Bros, Burrow Bros. Um, because they're like, they're bros and they, they, they go back and forth and they all like this, they did a whole like campaign against me. <laughs> it's like, listen, at the end of the day. You guys are professional realtors. You yeah. help people buy and sell millions and dollars worth of homes. I am not going to make a show where you talk about real estate that's called Burrow Bros. Okay. <laughs> you can make the same exact show and you have fun in it. Okay. But we're going to talk about 
how great you are as a realtor in it um, while you're having fun. And we're going to call it borough brokers so that people know that you guys are brokers and that yeah. you're not just doing this because you're bored, right? So, um, and they acquiesced and it's also mine. So I, I can do whatever. Yeah, you can do whatever the hell um, you want. Yeah. So I, I would say like you just, I don't know, think about your parents. Like, are you going to post something that your parents would be embarrassed by? Like, are you going to post something that you're going to regret? Like, we can ask my parents. Yeah, you can ask your parents. Sure. <laughs> um, you know, are you going to like, so, you know, don't like keep your clothes on, um, you know, keep swearing to a minimum, uh, yeah. if at all. Like, if you look in our, our like property tours and everything we do for the, the business, like, I, I don't swear. Yeah. You can have fun and get a little crazy. But at the end of the day, it's always about the real estate. It's always right. about the success. Um and the quote unquote crazy is, uh, is only there to cut through the noise to get mm -hmm. the views. Yeah. Um, and so when I, when I'm with sellers and I explain that they're like, okay, that's genius. Can you, uh, you want to bring a unicorn in my place and take a video and get it sold? I'm like, let me work on that one. Um, you know. All right. Well, that's, that's good to know. I've, if you've kind of debunked my entire business plan, I, I need to stop swearing, stop dressing like Freddie Mercury and uh no but that's so you're but it's you know that's that's also like the character that you put on you know yeah, and yeah it's the, exactly and you're doing a performance yeah. in my mind when i look at it i'm like okay so you know there's there's you know matt and then there's also matt kind of doing his performance yeah um which is totally fine like i right. you know i the ryan that's on million dollar listing is 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 the same guy but also a a, a very hyped up version of the actual guy that I am right. um, and the guy that you see in the vlogs and stuff, which is why I wanted to do the vlogs. Um, but, you know, I, I think that, I don't know, like, don't be a jerk. Don't be mean. Don't yeah. be, you know, gross. Don't be vulgar. Like our, when you create content, just think about who's going to watch it and what the real end game is, mm -hmm. you know, like, what is it? Why are you doing this? And what's the end game? And if you think people are going to see it and they might like you and follow your stuff and then want to work with you, then great, then do it. And if right. that means dressing up and swearing then dress up and swear. All right. Well, good. I'm back. Everyone, I'm back. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so um, you, you do a lot on, like you're saying, YouTube, do you, five years from now, I mean, how, where do you see the industry going from a social standpoint? Is there going to, is there going to be door knocking still and cold calling or is, is do you think social is going to eventually totally take that out? No, I don't think it takes it out. I think, um, uh, I think anything that you can do in person is going to be even more important as a social gets bigger and bigger and bigger, as we get more and more and more into our phones, you know, and right. into whatever, whatever is going to replace the phone. Um, uh, you know, I think you'll have to use the technology that gets invented to your benefit to do more business, but nothing's going to ever replace a phone call or mm -hmm. talking to someone personally. Um, and, you know, there's, there's trust that comes with being able to look someone into their actual eye. Um, and, you know, people will always, always, always appreciate that. So like we end up doing all the in-person stuff more now, well, not as much, I mean, COVID yeah. notwithstanding, but right. um, pre-COVID more now than we were than we were before. Right. Um, yeah. Crazy. That's um, okay. That's good to know. Um, a couple, we have a couple more minutes here. So I'm going to touch on, I'm going to make a statement first. Um, Sir Hant, first congrats. Thanks. Starting your own brokerage in a global pandemic. That's a, that's a, that must be stressful. And yes. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> and what I thought was so cool. You got a lot of people talking is when you totally wiped out your Instagram. You wiped yeah. out your Instagram, went black. I thought you, I thought you fucking blocked me. I was freaking out, you know. But uh, I, I learned about three days later that you didn't block me. So uh, yeah. that was good to it know. Was, it was well, a total pain in the ass to do that. Yeah. yeah well, you, you had to archive everything, and then. Yeah, dude. You no, know, Instagram doesn't give a shit. They don't help you. Yeah. They were like, because we reached out to them. We're like, hey, could you just do you have a button? Yeah, That's a lot here. And they were like, we don't. We didn't help Drake or Taylor Swift. We're not helping you. It's like, wow. Okay, so you just have <laughs> you just have your team, and they did like a hundred photos a day, you know, from the backlog slowly but surely. So, you know, no one pays attention to that stuff, obviously. But you know, for like two weeks, it got you know we <laughs> removed posts a little bit every single day up until we got to the end there, because I wanted to start fresh. Like my, 
in my life, you know, I've got like, you know, you've got school, you graduate, you know, but I moved to New York, quickly became a real estate agent. Um, and that was kind of my life. And then boom, COVID start new brokerage. Like that's a new chapter for me. Yeah. And so let's, let's, let's go fresh. Let's clean it out. And let's also like, how do I, I was also trying to figure out how do I tell people that something's probably about to happen without telling people that something's about to happen? Right. Because I couldn't run the risk of ruining the wall street journal article. If anything got out, like if I sent out an email, you know, like, Hey, something's coming. Yeah. If I did anything like that, um, someone might've written something just as like a hypothetical, like, Oh, Ryan might be starting. And then wall street journal has gone. They won't even touch it. So it was very stressful. They actually filmed the whole process for million dollar listing. And I think I aged another 20. Uh, well, I thought it was, it was genius. And uh, when you finally came out with the Sirhan video of you talking on the white screen, you're sitting down, you say now, you know, introducing, and then you, you move yeah. the Sirhan logo. That's like goosebump shit. Like I was like freaking out. I was calling my wife in the room. I was like, look at it. I, I felt like McGregor just knocked out someone in, in the UFC. You know, it was like, that was some suspenseful shit right there. Okay. I just, everyone in my office right now is listening to you. Be like, <laughs> be like, they're, they're going to take me down a peg after this podcast. <laughs> like, just so you know, you're a loser, Ryan. We okay. Own- you got I, your- I appreciate that. That video, those videos took like, I was, you know, like a year of planning leading up into that day. That was uh, sick ass videos. I think you should be rewarded when you do a good video. When I do a video and someone says they love it and inspired them to do something, I think that's like the coolest thing. So I always try and make it a point to, yeah. you know, tell them that I liked it. So Thanks, man. yeah, Thank you. awesome. absolutely. So one more thing, you got big money energy coming out. Yeah. Um, sell like Sir Hant was more, you know, how to sell more, what your day looks like, some pretty sick stories. What is big money energy is more of a, a mindset book than anything. Yeah, because I didn't really touch on that in yeah. Sell Like Sir Hant. Sell Like Sir Hant was, was strategies, was tips, tricks, like blueprint for how to sell and how to build a sales career, um, uh, you know, through the trials and errors that I'd gone through. Uh, big money energy is what I called successful people when I first moved to New York, right? Like, man, that guy, that guy looks like he makes a lot of money. That guy's got, that guy makes, make, he makes big money, right? That yeah. guy's got great money energy it's big money energy um uh and so how do you get that without having it right and it's it it is a mindset um and it's a way that you carry yourself and it's a way that you present yourself it's a way that you speak um it's a way that you listen to people um and big money energy is a certain set of qualities that every super successful person has that most of us think that "Ah, okay that's just for them it'll never be for me i'll just have my own version of success whatever that might be but that's not right that's not right right it's wrong like we can all have that level of success in our mindset um you just have to get it and you have to you have to build it uh, and it's a process. And that's what the book walks everybody through. It's kind of how I went from uh, being the least self-confident guy in the world who walked down the streets of New York City in the same suit, staring at the ground um, because I was too nervous to look anyone in the eye uh, for various reasons to the guy that you know now. And it wasn't just because I sold apartments and got more confident. It was completely by design. Um, uh, and... I figured out how to walk that walk um, and the book is going to teach it. Amazing. Love to hear it. I know you're a busy guy. We're going to uh, call it quits here. We really appreciate it. Where can you get Big Money Energy? It comes out February 2nd? It comes out February 2nd. Um, you can pre-order it anywhere books are sold. You can go to bigmoneyenergy.com and I think all the links are right there. Uh, and it means a lot to me. So thank you very much for, for talking about it.